So I got Google Colab to 25 times faster and it's especially useful if you have a larger data set that is divided into multiple folders and files. Let me show you how you can use it in two steps. The first step is pretty easy. You just zip your data set into your desktop PC and upload it to Google Drive. Uh, to zip the file I use 7-zip but you can use any other alternatives like WinRAR. If you don't know how to activate the free GPU in Google Colab, just go into runtime and change runtime type. In there you will see the GPU accelerator, you change it from NUM to GPU and you are good to go. After activating the free GPU, connect your Google Drive to Google Colab. After running this command, you should see your drive popping up in the folders menu in Google Colab. After connecting the drive to Google Colab, you should run this small code snippet while replacing the path that I give you with your original zip file. After running this, you should see your dataset popping up the folder inside the Google Colab. And that's it. Here's how it works. Basically, we took the dataset from the Google Drive and copied it into the local directory of the Google Colab, significantly reducing the image or file access times. It's like moving your favorite snack from the store to your house, avoiding the long walk every time you have to go to the store. Now let's see how this model performs in real life. Firstly, I uploaded the dataset without zipping it into the Google Drive and read each file from the Google Drive while training in Google Colab. It took whopping 1274 seconds to complete a single epoch. It's roughly 20 minutes. In the second time, I used the technique that I showed you. I uploaded the zipped dataset into Google Drive and extracted the dataset into the Google Collab. While reading from the local directory of the Google Collab, just took 50 seconds to complete a single epoch. From 20 minutes to 50 seconds, it's 25 times faster to use the technique that I showed you. All because we smartly moved our dataset from Google Drive to Google Collab's local directory and that's it. You can use this methodology with any dataset but if your data is especially large and especially divided into multiple files, you're gonna get the most benefit from this methodology. And there you have it, a massive performance boost in Google Collab with just two steps. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking this video. If you are interested, I have a video on how you can install Docker on M1 or M2 Max. You can access that video in here. See you in the next one.